Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am decorating our family room and I'm so excited to be setting up our second Christmas tree and this will be the first time I'm putting up a Christmas tree in our family room. I'm also setting up our Christmas village. I bought some new comfy, cozy pillows for Christmas. So if you're still needing some Christmas decorating inspo, get you a nice cup of coffee or hot cocoa and let's get started. All right. So I've already set up our tree and this is a seven and a half foot pre-lit tree and I'm starting off by using some deco mesh and basically since my tree is in the corner I'm not worrying about decorating the back I'm just decorating like three quarters of it so I have two different types of deco mesh um, some from last year and I couldn't find the same one so I had to go with a different one but no biggie I'm just alternating the two different deco meshes so for this method I just start from one end and then I just weave the deco mesh in and out make creating like kind of like little bubbles or loops in it and I'm using like a branch to kind of secure that in once I'm done with the deco mesh I am going to be weaving in and out same uh, technique as I'm using for the deco mesh I'm going to be using some ribbon that I uh, had from last year now all of these decorations are fairly new I just bought them last year and I really love this theme and all the just the joyful Christmas spirit that it brings just makes me so happy to see this tree so once I'm all done with the ribbon I'll just step back and see if I like the way it looks but um, this is definitely a really great method to use if you're needing to fill in a lot of gaps now for me I don't have a lot of ornaments but I did get bigger scaled ornaments just to kind of fill in those gaps a little bit better and so then once I'm done adding in my deco mesh and ribbon I'm then gonna start off with the top part of my tree and I bought these long stems from Hobby Lobby I absolutely love them they go perfect with the theme so I'm just sticking those into the tree and then I have this um, bow I think it's for a wreath but I bought it from Walmart and then I'm also sticking in some red picks and I'm all done with the topper and then I'm gonna start off with my bigger ornaments or my statement pieces and I have those elf feet that are some long stems as well and then I'm just gonna use the same swirl peppermint stems as well and then I also have some snowflake snowflake <laughs> some snowflake picks and I'm just basically using the zigzag pattern and then I will start adding in my bigger bulbs and my daughter wanted to help me hey guys I hope you all are doing well today um, today's video I am decorating our family room and you can see here our Christmas tree is already done this is the same uh, decorations that I used on my tree last year but these are fairly new ornaments I got them last year and I just love the peppermint thing gives me all the Christmas vibes with the red and white but since we have our other Christmas tree in our formal living room. I wanted to put this one in here and we're loving it because this is the first year we've had a Christmas tree in our family room. If this is your first time here um, clicking on one of my videos, I wanna thank you so much. Definitely means so much to me. I love my content such as homemaking, cooking cleans, decorating. I love to decorate, that's one of my favorite things. I also love to create videos with party planning and being that we have such a big family, I love to share those ideas with you. So if you enjoy watching those types of things, I would encourage you to hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel grow so much. Support means so very much. I truly enjoy putting together YouTube videos for you all. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I've got going on here. So I have these Christmas pillows. This one I bought from Sam's Club um, a few years back, but I love the pillows from Sam's Club. They're always such good quality, good prices. I bought these ones from Walmart. They're the same as the uh, mustard yellow ones that I had. They're just in red. And then this one I bought last year. It's a Ray Dunn. I'm not a huge fan of Ray Dunn. Some of the things are nice, but I just thought it went 
together with the theme that I have going on, the peppermint and the Santa, so I like that one. And then I got this one yesterday from Hobby Lobby, all their Christmas decor is 50% off. So what I'm gonna do today is set up my Christmas village. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is What I'm gonna finish doing is putting the little people here and then I think I'm gonna add in some little candy picks that I have their little peppermint candy picks that I got from Hobby Lobby last year I'm gonna stick them in here be done with this area and from afar let me show you what this looks like you can still see the villages so I'm not too concerned about like this right here but I really do like the way it looks. I went ahead and added the trees yesterday. And then I'll probably put this jingle sign right here. But these are just a few little people and a couple little trees that I have to put in the village. And we'll be done with that. Kind of debating on whether or not I want to hang this up in here. I think it'll look kind of neat right there by the Christmas tree. But then it kind of throws me off for this side. So I'm not sure. But I'll give it a whirl anyway and see how it goes. And by the way, this is day three that I'm having to finish up in here. It's just that I'm working full time right now and I'm really trying to get all of this done because I still have all of these boxes and it's driving me nuts. Um, the next thing, next video you guys will see will be a Christmas clean and decorate. So stay tuned for that next week as well. And by the way, do you guys to listen to Pandora or do you listen to Spotify um, my son when I put my Christmas music on he's like mom I'm adjusting my camera but he says mom Pandora is old school he's like you need to listen to Spotify so I'm just curious let me know down in the comments if you guys still listen to Pandora or if you have a Spotify account let me know because I'd like to go where there's more music without so much commercials, plays more of what I like, and I don't have to take the time to give what I like a thumbs up or a thumbs down so it can play what I like. So let me know down in the comments if you listen to Spotify or Pandora. All right, guys, so this is actually day three. Um, just being that I'm working full time, you know, I got to do what I can do the best that I can. But anyway, my family room is all done. And so now I am just adding in all of the little village people and trees. I don't have a whole lot, but um, the village isn't very big. So definitely what I have there went very well. Now for this side table, um, I decided to go with these long stems and they have some glitter berries in there and I just thought that went really well here next to the tree and then I'm just adding in the rest of the nutcrackers that I have and this really cute jingle sign. I end up switching it up and then because I had so much red going on in that in the corner where my tree is, I thought I would just add in this bow and little candy pick, um, you know, just to kind of carry the red over. And then just adding in my throw covers and pillows that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just thought they were so cute. And I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like really cute throw pillows makes the room. 
And then for my table centerpiece, I decided I would add in this red and black book that I thrifted from Goodwill. And then I found this really cute wreath. I originally wanted to add in the round candle holder, but the candles I had were too big. So just decided to take that out and add in these three cute nutcrackers. And it looks really good, nothing overdone, being that our coffee table is fairly small, but it just adds a nice little statement piece. And I just carry on the nutcrackers all throughout my home and then I'm just going to vacuum up and then I will show you what everything looks like afterwards. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Your support always means so very much. And if this is your first time here, I would definitely love if you would subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you around. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps support my channel so very much. And I will see you again on my next video. It will be a kitchen Christmas decorate with me. So definitely make sure you have your notifications turned on. And we'll see you again, friends. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. It's Christmas. It's a magic time. You can feel it in the air. That every child got their hearts filled up. With joy, yes, it's Christmas.